What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be taking you through all these random baggies full of WWE figures and WWE figures. What are you a stupid idiot moron? WWE figure accessories and parts. So as you guys can see we have all of these random baggies full of random WWE action figure accessories. We got hats, we got parts, we got all kinds of ish in here and I'm actually wondering what's in some of them. I do know for a fact that I do like to sort my stuff and that's sort of what this video is all about is you know from Mattel we get a ton of stuff we get hats we get accessories we get parts we get necklaces we get literally random stuff we get rogue, like bouquets of flowers we get just random accessories all the time little dogs and all kinds of stuff that we have gotten over the years since Mattel got the WWE figure license and what we have here is multiple baggies full of all those accessories so one way that I keep up with them is I buy these bigger size Ziploc bags or bag these really aren't Ziploc I wish they were Ziploc Ziploc's a lot better you know you have the little zipper on there it can lock it in place hence the name Ziploc but what I do is look it says it right there Ziploc this isn't even a Ziploc bag this is just one of those press ones so I don't know why they're freaking lying to me I guess Ziploc just made this bag but you guys can see we do have the hands here this is the one that I keep all of my hands in any extra interchangeable hands and somebody asked me like if I had any for trade well I don't know if I have any for trade but I have a ton of inner you can see all the different hands we have here this is the smartest way to keep up with them if I need an interchangeable hand I just kind of dump them out I wish I had my own fodder box I may buy like a smaller fodder box empty all of them in there and sort it out that way I can know which superstar is which you know do it by skin tone and stuff of that nature that way I'm not always digging through this freaking bag trying to find them because literally what I do right now is I dump the entire thing out and then I, I sort through it like an idiot stupid moron and I'm sick of doing that so that is I don't think you guys will be too interested in that it's just literally all my interchangeable hands so all of the figures that we have gotten so far with interchangeable hands that is where they go in that bag right here we have my John Cena bag and this this whole bag right here is actually kind of cool guys because it is completely dedicated to John Cena. I'm talking hats, arms, you know, the, the dog tags, shoes, all kinds of stuff are in this bag. So what we have here is we have all his different hats. We have all of his different gears. Now, um, this was a custom hat. That's why it's all beat up and stuff. But we do have, you know, we have his Elite 40 hat. We got his Elite 11 hat. We have his Elite 28 hat or his Elite 34 hat, whichever one. It came with both, I'm pretty sure. We got his WrestleMania 34 hat. We have random armbands, dog tags. I cannot remember how many dog tags I have. We even have the Defining Moments visor in there. And you guys know the reasoning for this massive bag full of John Cena accessories is for the John Cena timeline, right? Because we have the John Cena timeline up on the shelf, and in the future, I'm going to get more customs done. I'm going to get more John Cena's added into my collection, and the only way to do so is with extra John Cena arms to do those custom gears that we never got from Mattel to do, you know, different fix-ups and stuff like that. So that is why I have the John Cena baggie. And I thought you guys would be uh, interested in seeing this. So that is the John Cena bag. So there it is right there. The next bag that we have, and this one's kind of funny. You guys know that I have the John Cena collection. Well, I also have the Seth freaking Rollins collection. So this bag right here is totally dedicated to Seth Rollins parts. We have all his different vests. We have the Elite 45 vest. We got the TNF vest. We have the Elite 52 vest. We have, uh, I even think there's an Elite 37. There's an Elite 57. We have a, a whole entire like hair torso. So we got Slammy Awards, we got arms, we got hands, we have head scans, all sorts of Seth Rollins stuff. So I don't know if you guys will be interested in looking through that. I guess we can take a few out so you guys can see. There's the Elite 37 vest. We got the Elite 45 head scan. There's a ton of Seth Rollins accessories in here because of all the Seth Rollins figures that I've accumulated. There's even knee pads in there and all kinds of good stuff like that. So this is like when I get a Seth Rollins figure or extra Seth Rollins parts, I go ahead and add them to this bag. That way I know exactly where all of my Seth Rollins stuff is so I can go straight to it, use it for my fix-ups, use it for my customs and ish like that. So that is our third bag. So we have uh, John Cena accessories. We have Seth Rollins accessories. We have our interchangeable hands from Mattel. And then we have the interesting two. We have the two big ones that are all full of WWE figure hats and accessories. So in this one, this is all of my hats, helmets. This is literally all... Anything that goes on the head, masks, stuff like that goes into this baggie right here. And I even have like a miniature bag inside of that bag to keep up with sunglasses. This is not every pair of sunglasses. I do have some on the shelf. I got some sort of laying around in the backstage area. So this is my sunglasses. I'm going to go ahead and put that back in the bag so we don't lose that. But uh, here you go, guys. We got Bray Wyatt hats. 
We have Chris Jericho hats, Undertaker hats. We have a ton of these Triple H helmets, the gold helmets from the Elite 35, I do believe, from WrestleMania 30. We got uh, another one, which is the Toys R Us exclusive, I think, or maybe the Elite 28, I can't remember. We got the Kane mask in here. We got some Jax John Cena hats in here. Macho Man Randy Savage bandanas. We have hoods. Um, more Triple H helmets. I mean, this is ridiculous, guys. I feel like this is the best way to sort through. Again, if, if you put the hats all in with the other accessories, you're going to lose your hats. So if I want, you know, a specific look for a superstar, I honestly don't ever pose these guys around with these unless it's from a specific moment that I want, you know. I mean, I have Sami Zayn and Batista hats. We got uh, Sergeant Slaughter. We got top hats. It's kind of ridiculous, all this different stuff we got. But a lot of this, just mainly what I use these accessories for is pick fed stuff. Just, you know, to give some extra details or something like that. That is usually what this baggie is for. So we do have my hats, Ben, and for some reason, there is a Tyler Breeze selfie stick in there. So that is what we have in the hat section. I would like to go through here and sort it a little bit more, maybe different masks and stuff. But that is it for the hats. Well, now we're going to move on to the last one, which is the accessories, which I don't, I honestly do not know what's all in here, guys. It's a ton of ish in this one. So there is our random baggie full of WWE action figure hats and sunglasses. And our last one, save the best for last, this is the one that has all of our random accessories, guys. I'm talking like stereos, I'm talking glasses, not glasses, what are you, dumb? We just looked at the sunglasses. I'm talking, I have stuff in here that's not even from WWE figures. Like, look at this, this is random horse feed. Why do I have a random action figure size bag full of horse feed? Like, what is this? We got stereos in here, we got the New Day headbands, which should probably go in the hats bin. But you know it is what it is. We have a random shovel. That could go in my weapons bin. So some of this stuff shouldn't even be in here. But, uh, oh man, there's so many tiny parts in here. Why did, why did I do this? But in here, guys, you guys will see we have random like little bottles and stuff. This is to get those details. Like I said, um, you got the water bottles. You got little wine bottles. We have some random carrots for some reason. I don't know. This is just what I do to keep up with all of my accessories. We got Undertaker urns. We have this random rifle for some reason. Literally, guys, there's so much stuff in here. Spray bottles. I mean, we could go on for days. I mean, I guess I could do a cool shot with Triple H, you know, before he goes out. Spray the spray the man down. We got the crown in here, which should also be in the hats bin. We got random interchangeable hands, which should be in the interchangeable hands. I'm totally not freaking organized. This is ridiculous. We got Kurt Angle's Milko Mania in here. There is so many tiny parts, and there's more masks and stuff. I guess I need to sort through this a little bit. But you guys get the idea. The reason that I keep all of this stuff in the in the baggies is to keep up with it. Because if you just, you know, if you just have this laying around, you're gonna lose all of it. You're gonna totally lose all of it, and you're not gonna be able to find it when you need it with those details. So for the pick fed, um, this is the best thing to do is to go through everything and figure out what you have. Maybe even take down an inventory of what you have. That way you know um, if you need something for a specific part. I know for me and my pick fed, you know, it's all about the details. It's all about the little things. Even in my setups, I do the little things. So you want to go in there, make sure you have everything, and make sure that you can maybe get those little details with the little cans and stuff. Maybe go to the locker room, set up your bottles and stuff for medicine, uh, spray bottles for stuff. I don't know. Even spray cans and video cameras. I mean, there, there's so many things that Mattel's given us that can just add to your setups or add to your pick feds, your shows, when you're playing with your WWE action figures or posing them around or whatever you want to do. WWE figure photography especially um, comes into play when dealing with this. I even have, have like a random coffee which I guess could work for, you know, a WWE executive backstage or something when doing a setup. But that's pretty, another pair of sunglasses, by God. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you these random baggies full and how to keep up with your figures, you know, how to organize them, as well as just sort of show you what's in these bags, because I honestly didn't know what all, like, I forgot about all of the different things that we have in here, a random elbow pad in here. I honestly need to go through and sort it, like I said, because it seems like different uh, baggies have sort of intertwined with each other and sort of, you know, got me all effed up, but that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I think today's going to be a double upload. There's going to be an epic video coming on later in today, and uh, this week's going to be chock full of videos. I'm going to try to have MDT Live up by either Tuesday or Thursday, and it's going to be freaking epic, and then we have, you know, predictions and all kinds of great stuff coming this week, uh, revolving around the Elimination Chamber and everything. So guys, stay tuned for epic stuff. Turn on your bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.